Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and welcome to Learn and Tech. Today I'm going to talk about how you can create a shadow login form for your website using Bootstrap. So this is uh, a shadow login form that I have created and, I have, and will create a same shadow form by using the example how I have created the things and this is what it looks like in your desktop system and uh, this is what it looks like in your mobile devices and you can make it smaller this is how it looks like in your mobile compatible devices so it's pretty much cool and responsive for all the devices so let's talk about how you can create it right so first of all what I have created that I have already created a folder structure shadow form and inside the app uh, created a CSS folder which is empty and an image folder where I put in background image and there is a index.html file over there and this is my index.html file what I have already created and if you uh, this is what the index.html file is all about and right now So this is what the index.html file is all about and what I have done that I have already included a few link in this particular index.html. The link is with bootstrap.min.css and I have created a link with global.css which I haven't created yet. I'll create it just now and there is a jQuery min.js link and after there, there is a bootstrap.min.js link. How you can include link in your file structure? I'll tell you just go to uh, getbootstrap.com official site and from here you can choose the version which version you want to use so I consider bootstrap 3.3.7 is a stable version right now and just go and download bootstrap dot section they will find the maxidian link here you can copy it and paste in your site and you can download the you know, source file from direct from here also so this is how you can include things in your bootstrap project once it is included I have uh, created a fluid container bootstrap container inside that I have created a row it's a bootstrap structure how we actually structure a bootstrap so if you don't know about the bootstrap so I'll recommend you to just check out some bootstrap tutorial and after that I have created three column one two and three column here uh, with uh, md4 sm4 and xs12 with the all same size and in the middle column I'm gonna put my entire form code right so I'll tell you easy step from where you can actually get the form code just go to our bootstrap.com site where we have uh, already visited to download a bootstrap uh, in the right hand side section I'll go in a CSS section from the top and in the right hand side section there is a forms click on the forms and you'll see the basic example of the form here right and below there is a form code here so I'll recommend use this one and you can type it from yourself if you well versed with the bootstrap just go here and paste the code inside this form start and form and comment section right I've just paste the code here and I just structured the code so that it's look beautiful and easy to maintain all right so what I need I don't need this particular file approach section so I'll remove this particular section you can check it from here I'll remove this and this is what I need and if I go in my browser now you'll see that this is how it's look like email address password and check me out and submit and if I go to my original form what kind of form we're gonna create it's email password remember me and submit so email password I'll make this checkbox remember me and there is a submit already there all right so once that is done so what i need i need to include a background image here so for that purpose i'll create a new css file here and we'll save it under the css section and we'll name it global.css once that is saved i have already included uh, 
global.css link here, right? So I do not need to include link here. If in case you do not include it, you can include it like that. And after that, you can start typing things here in CSS class. So first of all, uh, in the container fit section, I'm gonna create a class BG. And same class I'll create in the CSS section here. And I'll include a background here. And I'm gonna put the URL here. And URL will be like where our images reside in the folder structure. So it reside under the images with the name of bg.jpg. So I will put images or slash bg.jpg. All right. And after that, I'm going to put background repeat is no repeat. And the width of this particular section is 100%. And height will be around our 100 VH. So uh, in this case, the VH meaning is vertical height. So it will capture your screen's height, and the size will be according to your screen height all the time, right? So this is done. We'll see if we get the image or not. So there is a background image coming up here, and it look uh, good. But we have to do a lot more there. So first of all, I'm going to create a another class here in CSS that is form container and I will put this border one pixel solid and we'll copy this class and include it in our form section there sorry first class and inside that put this class name and now you can see that there is a border coming up here a light so I should make the border color white so that it's more visible to you guys all right you can see the border now once that is done I'll create some padding for my particular form so I'm gonna put it 30 pixel top and bottom and 40 pixel left and right we'll see that hearts look this is how it's look i'll create it i'll make it 60 and i'll make it 50. so this is our login form look like and uh, so this uh, button should be like with the more width so in a bootstrap i'll tell you what you can do for this button summit so right now it's button default and i'm gonna make it button success so the color will change background color and after that it, i'll make it button block so that it will be a full length button all right now you can see that <coughs> So now what we need to do is we need to include shadow for this particular box and first of all I'll put uh, the margin for this particular form so I'm going to set up margin margin top I'll put it around 20% or I'll put it 20 VH right so that it will adjust according to screen size so now it's central line once that is done so i'll tell you how you can put box shadow in easy to use manner so there is a site called cssmatics.com slash box shadow you go there you can uh, create a box shadow for your particular box so like this is a box object and you can create box shadow according to your need so likewise so this is your first horizontal length and this is your vertical length and this uh, is this your blur radius and this is your spread radius and after that there is your color for this particular webkit so there is a three line of code but actually you can make it in one line so this webkit is for your <coughs> chrome and this moj is for your Mozilla, and this is uh, for your general browser code so if you include this particular line of code it will work for you also right so what i'm going to uh, do is uh, i need it like this and vertical length will be a little lesser 
and blur radius will explode like this all right and spread radius will be like this and that's all we need so i'll copy the code and where i'll put this particular code in form section because we're going to include this power radius to our form so we'll check in our form here so now you can see that this is how your form look like and i'll remove this border is equal to so now you can see that this is how your form look like and this is what we have created like shadow logging form so one thing that i need to do i need to include a header tag here and And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the color of our entire code is make color is equal to white. All right. Oh. So so this is how your login form look like in your browser. And that's what we have created in this particular section also. So this is your email, this is your password, and this is your remember section. You can put your email, you can put your password, you can submit the things here. So and if I make it smaller for screen size, so this is how it's look like. Alright. According to your browser, it will adjust the form. So this is pretty much easy how you can actually create form. In case you need this particular code, let me know that I'll uh, put your mail to you guys. Uh, otherwise, it's very easy and you can just get the code from all the side and can combine here and can start typing the things. So thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel. In case you need any query, just put on the comment section. I'll try to reply to this. Thank you so much.